Hey everybody, welcome to Excel Video 396. I'm Nate Moore. Talked to a group in the Midwest the other day who said, hey Nate, we've got our data in the cloud and we can't get the reports we want. Can you help us? And the answer is sure. If you can get that data dumped to you, downloaded some way, maybe every night or every week or whatever, get it in a CSV format, get it in an Excel format, I can import it to SQL and send you dashboards and alerts and emails and all kinds of different things if you can get that data on a scheduled basis. If you've got your data someplace and you're not getting the reports you want, Let's talk. I'm going to play a little bit more with tables today. Remember last time what we did is we added this total row by on the design tab clicking total row and we got these totals down here that were really helpful with easy formulas. I want to show you two things today about those formulas. The first thing is this total row respects filters. And what I mean by that is if you come over here and say I only care to see Blue Cross, it will tell you all right I've got 1854 Blue Cross claims, the average amount, is that the sum is that here's no show history and all these different things the if I do Blue Cross and Medicaid I get more claims here and a higher total the totals row respects the filters that's the first thing I want to show you the second thing is if you're still using Excel 2007 when you scroll down you lose this filter button as part of this heading here and in Excel 2010 and 2013, they put the filter button here. It makes it a little bit easier. But a lot of times what I will do is this. I will go up to the top of my table, and let's just insert a couple of rows at the very top. Then what I'll do is let's say the patient AR balance is the big important thing for me. What I can do is I can do something like equals, and then we just go end and down to the very bottom and get this cell. And there's a formula in here that's fairly complicated with all these brackets and things. And you could learn the formula and the syntax and do it. I just do equals and grab it, and I'm good to go. And now that I have a total here, I can do all kinds of different things with it. So if I change and just do blue cross here, here's my total. But the thing I can do is I can come either here or let's just put it here. And I will put a sum here. And then I can see what happens to the claims as I change the filter. So if I want all the Blue Cross hospital claims, there's Blue Cross that came from the hospital, there's my total, and I can continue to play with that over time and format it and do whatever I want to do. The trick is by doing the equals formula, let's just do the max just for fun. If you do equals, end, and the down arrow, and grab that, what you can do is grab whatever data you want and throw it to the top. Notice when I have a date, what I've got to do is formatted as a short date and then what I can up here I could do last appointment or I could put it over here in this cell here whatever I wanted to do trick number one the total row respects filters trick number two by just doing equals and that formula at the bottom you can bring the totals to the top and put multiple things here and if you played with it a little bit you could do all kinds of additional format and totals up here to get exactly what you need at the top of the table rather than having to scroll down 8,000 rows. That's what I wanted to show you about the total row. Stay tuned. I got more tricks for you and we'll talk about it in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.